Laredo is right on the Mexico border, predominantly Hispanic, 95% Hispanic. The Mexican culture is very family oriented, so it's a very tight knit community. Carne asadas on Sundays together always. I love growing out there. I still go back home every summer, so it's great. I love it so much. In 2002, Laredo got a pro hockey team, the Laredo Bucks, and they just took the city by storm. Laredo, which is like 95% Hispanic, just fell in love with the game. It was very non-traditional. I didn't grow up playing. It wasn't something I grew up doing, right? But Laredo, when they first came, it blew up. Kids started wanting to play. It got people excited, kids excited. I started liking the game, and my friends would want to go just to hang out, and I was like, well, I kind of want to watch the game. And then one day, I uh, was there watching warm-ups, and the equipment manager at the time, he was new that day, and he called me over, and he's like, you want to help out? I, he needed help desperately, so I was like, sure. My best friends back home, they're not hockey fans at all, so yeah, it was not what anyone expected. Laredo, when they first came on the ice, they were wearing dark jerseys, and I think it was Lubbock Cotton Kings or something like that we were playing against, and they were the white jerseys, so when they came out, people cheered for Lubbock instead of the Bucks, and the announcers had to say like, no, no, this is the home team. And then after the second period, people started leaving because they thought it was two halves, not three periods. But I fell in love with the game and here I am almost a thousand pro games later and I haven't left the locker room since. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Bucks it kind of fizzled off because it's not a hockey town. When I was 19, I went to the SPHL with the Huntsville Havoc. That was a big eye opener for me because going from a Hispanic community to Alabama was really, really different for me. And uh, not that that's a hockey hotbed at all or anything, but it was eye opener for me. And from there, I went back to Laredo as a head guy for a year before they folded. And then I went to Texas for three years with the Texas Stars, won a Calder Cup there. And I do remember thinking like, man, this is really cool. Like I'm Mexican American and I'm holding the Calder Cup. I took it to Laredo. Like it was really, really cool experience. Thinking back on it, if the Bucks didn't go to Laredo, I don't know what I'd be doing. I'd be doing something totally different. After high school, I just started going after my college classes. I started missing school to go help out in the locker room. That's when I kind of realized, you know what, this is what I want to do with my life. And them opening hockey to that community brought me into a game, just opened up so much for me. Now my kid that I'm expecting soon is gonna be in hockey, which it's great. It just opens up so much more than this game is so great. And people with non-traditional hockey markets never get to experience it. I do think there's more room for growth and I hope people of Hispanic culture, Mexican culture think this isn't just a sport for the North. It is a great sport that anyone can play, anyone can be a part of.